recently had some really interesting things come out of the Oculus Connect 3 keynote. Now the most interesting thing that came out of this particular conference was some comments from Mark Zuckerberg and he discussed how at the moment the primary forms of VR are mobile such as say the Gear VR or the upcoming Daydream View VR from Google or a wired experience like the Rift and of course the HTC Vive and the PlayStation VR. Now apparently Oculus and Facebook have their sights set on something in between, delivering the same quality as the Rift, yet be as mobile and easy to use as, say, the Gear VR. So, that's really interesting because, of course, at the moment, if you want a mobile headset, it's pretty limited in what you can do. It's, you know, very good for watching films and that, from what I've heard, but, you know, gaming-wise, obviously, the power is limited to, you know, a mobile phone, and while those are powerful, they're not as powerful as, you know, a PC, like would you would have with the Rift. So to have something as good in quality in terms of the Rift and but as mobile would actually be really interesting. Now of course, you know, all the wires and stuff is one of the issues with VR, but the main issue is of course the cost of entry. It's just too expensive, especially PC VR, you know, the PlayStation 4 VR is the cheaper end and even that's still pretty expensive when you throw in the PlayStation camera. PlayStation Move and you know, obviously the PS4 head uh, console itself, but even if you don't count that, it's still pretty expensive, even if it is the cheaper end. So the main barrier for entry that has to be removed for VR to really w reach a wider audience, in my opinion, is going to have to be the cost. Oculus and Vive and whoever else comes on at a later date need to develop a system that is easy to use and affordable. You know, having it be wireless would be a great boon, you know, not having to worry about tripping over wires, especially when you have a room scale experience, and that's not really applicable to Oculus, but just talking generally here. When you have a room scale experience, you know, having wires trailing all over the floor or what have you, you know, it's not really what you want, but to have a wireless experience would be a the next pinnacle for VR and have that coupled with a lower cost, a lower price point, and a lower requirement of the specs would also be good. And speaking of the specs, the Oculus Rift now requires less on the PC parts in terms of the specifications. Basically, you can now run the Rift on a fairly modest PC, anything with a 960 or i3-6100 or AMD FX4350, and there's a new P uh, sort of VR-ready PC that's just 500 bucks from uh, AMD and Oculus. So, that's definitely going to help. Because obviously the powerful PC that you need is another big barrier to entry as well. So, if you can know the cost of the VR and know the cost of the PC you need to run it, we're on the right track. But of course, whether or not it actually has any real impact, well, it kind of depends how VR does in of, a, in of itself. It's yet to take the world by storm. It's doing fairly well. From what I've heard, it's you know pretty damn good. But of course, it is just not widely available yet in terms of like how accessible it is to most people. And that needs to be addressed if VR is going to be successful in the long term. And moves like reducing the power requirements are definitely going to help. Regardless of all that, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.